A lot of clients that have solar or clients that are looking at getting solar, one of the biggest attractions and one of the biggest questions I get on the road is, what about going off grid? So not having the utility as a backup, essentially having your own power, running your house on your own solar, using battery storage to back up your own energy. The challenge is gonna be a number of uh, challenges actually with trying to do that. Number one, APS will probably fight you and charge you a large exit fee to disconnect the grid from your house. Um, and there's safety reasons why they wanna keep that grid active uh, and keep your electric connection active at your house. Also the pure cost of trying to run a battery uh, backup system that's large enough to support your house during the summer, especially in high load when your air conditioning is running really hard, it's super expensive. I think off-grid is probably one of those things that's gonna be the holy grail. Maybe at some point it becomes more cost effective. Uh, we'd have to work out more legal uh, ramifications with the utility here. Um, that road really hasn't been well traveled. The only people that I see go off-grid are people that are located where there's no grid supply. Uh, but if you're here in the valley and you want to do solar, uh, I recommend starting with just a grid-tied system. And then maybe down the road, three to five years when battery costs get cheaper, add a backup battery system. And then beyond that, it might be more cost-effective at some point to potentially switch to an off-grid situation. I think we're years away from that being an economic reality. But as always, I like to keep people interested in solar. Uh, off-grid probably will be something you could look forward to, but it's going to be years from now. Um, but as always, we recommend you get a quote, look at grid tied to start, and you could go from there. Uh, use this video again as a resource, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.